Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am in my car as you guys can hear and I'm actually going to be on my way in a second to my nail salon because I have a nail appointment. I have not gotten my nails done and I want to say over a, a month now. So I still have my birthday nails. I don't know if you guys remember. Um, they're really cute French tip leopard nails. But today I'm thinking of doing something a little bit different. I'm actually going to leave and I'll come back to kind of talk about what I want to get done. Okay, I'm here. I just parked and I have about 10 minutes to figure out what it is that I want to get done on my nails. I honestly have no clue i feel like as every time that i come into a nail vlog or just a vlog where i include getting my nails done i'm not sure what it is that i want to do and if you guys know i have a shop called romina rosa and i sell budgeting kits there for every single month so the color for the month of april is like a really pretty purple color so part of me just wants to do something with purple just to like match the budget kits and the washi so I might end up doing purple today. I have a few ideas here and there, but nothing honestly crazy, to be honest. Ooh, this is really cute. I'll put some pictures here of like inspo that I have so far, but I don't know an exact thing that I want to get done. So it's going to be very interesting to see what it is that I end up getting. I'm also going to try to film a TikTok because I've seen a lot of like nail TikTok videos and I really like those. So I'm going to try to film it the whole um like the outside of the place which if you guys don't know where it is that i go what is it even called oh my god it's called blossom beauty bar in whittier so this is where i've been going for a couple of a few months now yeah i've been going here since i think november and i really like it in there i my nail tech's name is brenda which is i believe the owner of this place and i'll go ahead and leave their instagram down below but yeah i'm excited i don't know what i'm gonna get done but I'm excited for whatever it is also since this is probably gonna be a kind of a short video with just like the nail part and getting them done and stuff I'm also going to show you guys around um, a couple of things that I've been accumulating for like Easter for like Easter baskets for my siblings which if you guys are wondering they're like older my sister's older than me and my little brother is 13 he's gonna be 13 this year I'll show you guys what I have so far and I'm still looking for other stuff and like 21 plus things to put in the Easter basket for Paul as well. And I also finally got my really pretty like Y2K inspired um, backdrop. And Paul helped me set that up this morning and I already steamed, steamed it and everything. So I'll show you guys that when I get home. But that's pretty much it. Right now it is 2 p.m. So probably get out of here by four. And I really haven't had lunch. So we might end up eating, I think, dinner early i'm making arroz chaufa tonight which is just um peruvian fried rice i always mention that but yeah so i'm gonna look through more pictures and then i'll show you guys i'll try to see if i can show you guys the process if not definitely follow me on tiktok because i will be uploading that video there i always say oh i'm gonna be uploading a tiktok today tomorrow and then the last time i uploaded my four course meal challenge so late so just follow me it'll be up there eventually <laughs> Came over to my mom's to drop off some work and she made stuffed squash. A squash. Stuffed squash. And so chipotle healthy. sauce. Yeah, I'm chipotle sauce. So healthy. <laughs> when I was about to start the vlog, I was thinking of what I was going to say in Spanish, but this is not a Spanish vlog. But I just parked. I'm home now. And it's around like 5 p.m. now, which is so crazy to me that the day went by so fast. But I just did a lot of driving because I had to drive to my parents too, which my parents' house is close to my nail salon. Um, so that means that I had to, you know, drive from my place, which is like 30 minutes away from my parents. So yeah, I'm here now. I've just been on my phone, honestly. I don't know. I don't, I'm just like kind of lazy to go upstairs, but... I'm gonna go upstairs. I'm gonna show you guys the backdrop, which I don't think I've mentioned this, but I was, or maybe I have, but I was supposed to get this like Y2K inspired backdrop for my birthday party a couple weeks ago, but that didn't end up getting here on time. So I just had to just do something really quickly, which is what you guys probably saw on my Instagram page. The backdrop is now here and I'm gonna show you guys. I set it up and like I mentioned, I steamed it in the morning. So. I'm probably going to be taking some pictures of the clothing that I'm going to be selling that still fits me um, with that backdrop just to have everything be cohesive on my Depop or Poshmark. But I don't know if I show you guys, but my nails are all done. They look so cutie. They look 
They're really pretty. Like I mentioned, I wanted to go with purples. And I'm glad I did. I don't know, just like lined with like two little flowers there. It's very cute. And I got like stiletto shape nails, which I never get. I always get square. Um, so this was definitely something different. But I kind of like it. I'm like like it, i think it's different but i like it so that's what i ended up going with and now let me bring you guys upstairs let me show you guys what i have and i'm also going to make dinner like i'm thinking in an hour or two but i want to make sure to film my weekly check-in video um i'm filming it kind of late but i'm hoping to film that today and if i don't end up getting up getting it up today i might just have to get it up tomorrow but we will go ahead and see and now let me go ahead and get all my stuff upstairs. Okay, so this is my cute Y2K cherry backdrop. It's so funny because it's taking, of course, a lot of space here in my living room. But this is, I think, where it's gonna stay. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. <laughs> but I love it, it's so cute. Like I mentioned, I got it for my birthday, but it didn't get here on time, so we're just gonna use it for a few pictures, I guess. No, I've been have no, it got here like two weeks late. I've just been having it for a while, but isn't it cute? I just realized that I never showed you guys my outfit. And I was wearing the cutest outfit today because it matched my purse. I'm wearing the thrifted BB sport shirt I got like two weeks ago. Um, and then I'm wearing these navy blue leggings that I got from AliExpress, which is funny because it matches, like I mentioned, perfectly with my purse. Um, I'll show you guys in a sec, but... Yeah, I liked it. It was cute. Alright, are you guys ready to see my closet that has all of my Easter stuff? Among other things. Let me not scare you. And let me grab everything that I have. Okay, so here are the two bags of stuff that I have for the Easter baskets. I don't know if I mentioned this, but these are going to be more adult Easter baskets. So I don't have any kids, as you guys may or may not know if you guys are following my channel. But I'm making an Easter basket for my boyfriend, Paul, for my sister, Ivana, and for my little brother, Andrew. Andrew is about... 12 he's gonna turn 13 later this year so i thought it would be fun to show you guys what i have so far and how i'm going to be setting them up um and i just thought to include it in this nail vlog since i know it's kind of a little bit short and easter is coming up anyway so i'm going to show you guys exactly what i have and then i'll try to set them up i might end up grabbing some last minute things today maybe next week we will see but let me go ahead and show you guys all that i have so this is all of the stuff that i have so far um i did get some like um kitchen towels here for easter so i'm gonna put these up right now i got some of these small muddy buddies bags i wanted to get one of these for my brother andrew they're just bubble gums but i believe you can yeah you can pull this to dispense so i thought that was really cool this is not really easter related so let me put it on the side <laughs> But I'm going to be using that later this or next month. I got two of these cotton candies. Paul is not a really big fan of cotton candy, but I thought I could get one for my sister and my little brother. And it has Pop Rocks inside, which sounds so fun to me. So I got those. Some of these things are for my Easter basket too. I'm not sure. I don't think Paul has planned that well for that, but you know what? It's okay. I also went ahead and got one of these strawberry lemonade ice cubes my little brother loves taking the ones that i have which i have the purple one what flavor is that i'm not sure but um i wanted to get in one of these so much gum i feel like maybe i won't put it in his basket we'll see then at target i got most of these things at target by the way yeah pretty much everything target is like the place to go um for easter and other holidays but i got one of these or a couple of these eggs which come with a bunch of different candies so we have like the ring pop bottle pop push pop and juicy drop pop okay so all the pops here so i got i think this for andrew and for paul or i might end up giving one of these to my sister and then this one i might end up giving to my brother which he really likes these warhead candies and then paul got this one for me because i love gummy bears so a couple of those eggs then some of these bunny m m's love the pastel colors on those these i thought would be fun but i just realized that these are also gums 
there's gonna be gum everywhere. Some of these Kinder Joy eggs, some ring pops. This I really wanted to get. Honestly, at first I wanted to get it for myself, but I ended up getting it for my sister. And if you guys, you guys probably don't know this because I don't talk or mention it much, but my weird, I guess, collection are these cute little mini brand. Like there's mac and cheese, Jello. There's the Laughing Cow. There's a bunch of different brands, mini brands. And usually they come in like this circle, but I think this comes with like a whole case and everything, which I thought I could give to my sister. But now that I see it, the baskets are kind of tiny and this is not gonna fit in there. So I'll see, maybe I'll end up getting the actual circle that I think will fit in there and I might end up keeping this for myself. I might end up making like a TikTok of like my weird collection sometime soon because I do have quite a bit. I started collecting these mini brands during Christmas. Yeah, when my sister actually gave me some uh, stocking stuffer. So that's probably something that you guys don't know about me. Yes, I am a literal child, <laughs> but I got these for my sister. A bunch of these crinkle cut paper shreds. I have some of these as well. Easter eggs, which we're doing something a little bit different than other people, but we are going to be having an Easter egg hunt over at my parents' house. The only difference is that, I mean, some of them are going to have candy, but others are going to have cash. So I remember growing up, especially like one of my first Easter's here, my mom actually ended up doing this kind of easter egg hunt for me and ivana so it was really fun to just you know find like a dollar two five and like the grand price like 20 or 50 dollars in one of the eggs so it was really fun and i kind of wanted to recreate that whole scenario for like my little brother my sister my boyfriend and all of that so we got some easter eggs for the easter egg hunt more of these papers these are the baskets that we got i think these are only a dollar from yeah there were a dollar from the dollar spot i honestly always suggest that you get things for like holidays well ahead of time i think i got these like in the month of february and then the rest in the very beginning of march so definitely suggest that you pick things up for the holidays well in advance and then last but not least i'm planning on making some cupcakes so I have here a little cupcake kit. I think my sister gave me. She might have gotten it from TJ Maxx. Yeah, she got it from TJ Maxx. But I'm very, very excited to make cupcakes. And definitely stay tuned if you guys are interested in seeing how the Easter baskets turned out. And if you want to see an upcoming maybe weekend vlog with the whole Easter egg hunt and all. But now I'm going to try to set some of these up. And then I'll be back to show you guys kind of like the finished look so far although honestly now thinking about it i feel like a lot of these things are not going to fit in there we will see all right guys so i went ahead and filled up my easter baskets i'm sorry if the lighting is not too great but i only have a couple of things i just realized that most of these items are candy which i should have probably bought other stuff i did buy the mini brands like i mentioned and i even found these at Target, they're like toy mini brands. And then these cotton candy little um, bins do not fit because I didn't realize how small the baskets actually were. So this is what I have going on for now. Like I mentioned, my baskets are really, really tiny. The only thing that's not like candy related that I'm going to be adding for my sister are some of these magnetic lashes from Ardell. I found them at my local Walgreens and I thought that I could just give them to my sister because she's not very like savvy with putting on lashes, I don't think. So I think this would be perfect for her. It's basically the whole craze that's going on right now. So I just found them in like, you know, a drugstore. So this is what I'm going to add to my sister's basket. So I'll just like put it in there somewhere. And then, and then of course this would not be a 21 and over easter egg basket well except for my little brother this is all my little brother's getting maybe i might get him like a starbucks gift card or something but he's really gonna enjoy just this i'm sure but for like paul and my sister i went ahead and um grabbed some like tiny alcohol bottles of course you know this is only for 21 and over so if you're not 21 or over the message is not for you i'll show you guys really quickly but i don't usually show this on the channel but this is only a nail blog so but me and paul got a couple of bottles like we got patron we got like tiny 
Tennessee Honey, Jack Daniels, the regular one for my sister. And then I really wanted to get this one for mine because Paul has not grabbed many things for my basket either. So this is what I'm going to put in mine or he's gonna put it in there. And then I got Bacardi. So that is pretty much all that I'm going to put in these baskets. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know that this really has nothing to do with my nails, but thank you so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And hopefully I will get to see you guys on the next one.